going to do next is we're going to go into lab four. So we need to go into the frame view. And here what we're going to do is we're going to um, position the, the keys and blades so that each blade is guarding a key. So I'm going to open up the Cat Burglar Library. I'm going to put my blade in front of guarding each key. Next, I'm going to add lives. Insert, new object, uh, here on the left, games, then click lives. Click OK. So I want to go to where I want to add them. I guess I don't want them there, do I? And put them up here. So I'm going to create a, co a collision condition for when the blade hits the cat. So I'm going to go into the event editor view event editor. I'm going to click new condition. I right click the cat. Then I'm going to click collisions with another object. So he's going to collide with the blade. Click OK. So what happens when he click collides with the blade? Uh, you're going to take away a life. So in the event editor, I'm going to look at the player run column, which is right here. And I'm going to right click the box. I go number of lives, subtract from number of lives, and he loses one life. I click one and I click OK. So now I get a check mark in the box, subtract one life. So now we just test the game, click run the game. And let's see how this happens. He just lost a life. Just lost another life. All the lives are gone, but it keeps on going. So we're through with lab four. Complete these steps to make sure that your project's on track. Make sure that each key has a blade in front of it. Make sure the player loses one life each time the cat collides with a blade. And save your project. All done with Lab 4. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Lab 5, so we need to be back in the Frame Editor. View, Frame Editor. So I'm going to click one of the blade objects. I'm going to click the movement icon. I take the static. Click bouncing ball. Next to moving at start, I'm going to come down and make sure it's got a click in moving at start. Sure does. Good. If not, just add it. So now we're going to test this and we'll see how this looks. I'm going to click run application. So you see they fly off the uh, playing stage. So we got to limit their, their movement, correct? You know I'm correct. Now we're going to go back into our event editor. So we're going to click view, go down to event editor. And now we're going to make a new condition. So I click that and I my blade, right click him and he's going to collide with another object. That other object is going to be the maze. We're going to have the maze stop the blades. I click OK. And the collision between the maze and the blade row. And I'm going to click in the blade column here, right? So right click there. I click movement and I'm going to put in a bounce. When it hits the maze, I want it to bounce. So let's see how that how that looks. So I'm going to run the, the application. So now you see they're going all over the place. It's not how we want the blade to act, but you see it's contained within the maze. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the initial direction of the blades. 
So I'm going to double click the game frame to open it. And in the frame editor, I'm going to click one of the, one of the blades. I click the movement icon. And I'm going to go in my initial direction here. And I'm going to reset the directions. Now I'm going to make it go straight up and down. Okay, so I want to fix the movement of the blades. The first thing it's doing is going way too fast, so I want to slow it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go into speed, and I'm going to change it to 15. 60 is way too fast. The next thing I'm going to do, I want to make the movement less smooth. So I come on down and see what has 32 angles. Okay, I change that to 8. So the movement's not going to be so smooth. I'm going to change the randomizer feature to 0. It won't bounce in random directions. So I want the bounce to go straight up and down without being reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to security. And I'm going to type in 0. So what did we do? We changed the speed. We changed the number of angles. We changed the randomness. And we changed it from being reset. I'm going to test the game. Run application. So now you're ready for uh, lab 6. Make sure your blades move slowly up and down in front of the keys. Make sure the blades are contained inside the maze and then save your project, and then you're all set for lab six. Okay, so we're in lab six, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the a blade once again. Click on it, you're gonna open it up, double click. Now I'm going to go into the animations here. I'm going to turn on the hotspot. That's a hot spot right there. So I'm going to move it to the center of the object by here. Click, 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 move in the center. So now all I have to do is I go, OK. Now I'm going to have to reposition all my objects again because I moved the hot spot. Next thing I want to do is I want to make the blade spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click one of the blade objects again. And this time, see I've got the hot spot in the center. I'm going to right click my frame. I'm going to click rotation. I, I don't want two, I want ten. So I'm going to put ten up here. And it doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. I click OK. Now I'm going to play the animation. That's what it looks like. We only have one rotation right now, but that's okay for the second. What we want to do is we want to make that play go on and on. So I'm going to click in Direction Options. And see where it says Loop? That'll make it continue to play or go around and around. I'll show you. We're going to loop it. We're going to play it again. And you see it doesn't stop this time. That's what we want. And now we've got the hot spot in the center, so it revolves around its own center. So now we're done with lab six. What did we do? Uh, make sure the blades are animated to spin over and over again without stopping. Then you just save your project. So now we're in lab 7, and what I want to do is to create a new animation for the cat. So I'm going to double click the cat to open it. And over here in the animations, I come down to the bottom. I'm going to right click and click new. And I'm going to call my new animation herding. And click OK. And click OK. And open it up again. <laughs> I'm going to make sure it says stop, so I'm going to take this frame one here, and I'm going to copy it. So we've opened this up. Before we copy this, make sure that the frames tab is open. It's clicked on stop. So I want to right click. I want to copy. 
So in the animations area, I go down to the herding, and um, I click on it. And under the frames tab, I right click, and then click paste. As that's frame two, so now I'm going to delete frame one here. Right click and delete that, and say yes, I want to delete that frame. So now uh, the cat becomes frame one. Now I want to copy this frame, so you see this little plus sign here, I just click that, and now I have a second copy of that same um, character. So now I want to paint him red. So I come over here and I'm going to find my brush right here. So now I'm going to paint the cat red. It'll be completely red. We're going to show this animation to see what it looks like. I'm going to click play. So it just briefly plays the animation. It goes from black to red. Nothing else happens, so we got to fix that. All right, I saved my animation. It just has two frames. That's all we need. Click OK. So now I'm going to put this when the cat hits the blade. I'm going to go to my view menu. I'm going to go into the event editor. I'm going to do the in the collision between the cat and the blade row and the cat column. So here's the cat and the blade. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click animation. Change animation sequence. I'm going to choose herding. And I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to see what that looks like. I'm going to run my application. Now I'm going to run the cat into the blade, see what that herding looks like. See that? Every time I hit him, he turns red. Because you can barely see that animation, we're going to slow it down. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back into my uh, frame editor, or view frame editor. And we're going to double click on that cat again. Go back into our animation editor. I'm going to find my herding animation and my directions options tab here. I'm going to change that speed uh, back to 10. So click OK. We'll test our game again. And you're going to see that, so that you can see that a little longer. So we're going to close out the test window here. So we're going to make sure that our we're on ta track here before we go to lab 8. We want to make sure the cat turns red when it collides with the blade, then turns back to the original color. So we save our project. And now we're into lab 8.